Hello, Collective, wherever you are. I hope your summer safe, surrounded by love, light, happiness, joy, abundance, and filled with so much peace. Real quick, can you do me a favor? Can you hit that like button, please? Please hit share if you like to share, and please hit subscribe and turn that <laughs> notification bell on to all. So you can always be updated whenever um, I put a message out there for you guys. And if you like to donate, you do not have to. It's not a requirement, but it is truly appreciated. The info is in the description box down below. And thank you from the bottom of but with all of my heart ahead of time to anybody and everybody who choose to do so. And to everybody who has been. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless your beautiful souls tenfold. Oh, my little cry baby wants his little paw massages. You want your paw massage, baby? So you're obviously getting blessed, okay? The cry baby is here um, showing his love and support to his fans. He's very grateful for you guys because he got his beautiful little bougie water fountain. Thanks to you guys. Gracias. And thanks to God. Thank you, God. Alright. He's going to end up probably moving. He usually does once I... Oh, my baby's tired. See how he does his <laughs> little... I give him his palm as I just... He spreads his little tootsies. <laughs> oh, my baby's so cutie pie. Yeah. Let's get it in between his little tootsies for you, baby. Yeah, you're so bougie. We're about to have a bougie life collective, okay? You're, uh... <laughs> so cute. Uh, yeah, get in between them two. Sorry, I know I tickled you there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, baby. I know. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna do... Alright? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do the reading right now, okay, honey? I know. I love you, too. Okay, baby. I know, I know. <laughs> so hold my hand. <laughs> Oh, how am I gonna do the reading, baby? If, if you're holding my hand, I was trying to take my hand away, and he was like going like this, and one falls on me, like, no, bitch, give me your hand. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, you know what that just made me think of? I just pictured somebody in a hospital bed. Oh, my heart just dropped. Somebody could be like on their their way out. I'm strongly getting that. Somebody could be trying to hold on for dear life, either to you or the, or to their life, possibly. Bitch. Let's see what's going on. Somebody wants to withdraw. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Somebody wants to withdraw, okay? They're having some sort of idea to either get you to withdraw or for them to, like, you know, to, to try to stop something, maybe. I know, baby. I know. But my mom has to get to work, okay? I know. You're my baby. Yeah, always has to touch me. It's so cute. Like, look. Look at my little baby. He has to put his paw on me. <laughs> Can't let me look at the camera. I know, baby. <laughs> yeah, because they're trying to get liberated. Okay, they're having an idea to quit attacking you. Alright, because they want to get liberated. Alright, they might be praying now to God instead of, you know, whatever the fuck they've been doing. They're trying to get some sort of like I feel like somebody maybe they're on the hospital bed, man. I don't know. I strongly feel like that. You're so precious. You're so precious, buddy. Maybe a coach might be taking ideas from you. Okay, I feel like they could be getting taken, you know. Um if you're if you have like a platform or social media or something, they might even have an idea to come ask you or maybe get a life coach or something confirmation. Maybe they they want tips on how to get rid of whatever's wrong with them, or this could be the person that was coaching people to do you know weird things to you. You could be a coach of some sort, a life coach or spiritual coach. It could be friends. They could be coaching their... I strongly feel like they're going to try and coach their friends to come in, okay, and reconcile for them. Maybe they can't get out of bed, okay? Or maybe, like, they know that you completely cut them off. So they might be coaching a friend to come in to apologize for them and to whatever. Or, like, they might even be sending a friend in to get some sort of tips from you. Or this could be a friend that's tr withdrawing that wants to now take notes from you. Bubby, you want to come on Mama's lap, honey?
Baby boy. You wanna come on Mama's lap, honey? I feel bad. Come here, sweet pie. Come on Mama's lap. Or do you wanna go under the um under here? He likes to hide. Sometimes like if I have a dress or my my um my robe on, he likes to hide underneath of it. Baby, my mom has to get to work for you, my precious. You're just so cute, I don't want to disturb you. I know, baby, I know. Okay. <laughs> here, honey, I feel so bad. Guys, I'm sorry, I just feel so bad with my baby. Come here, sweet pie, come here. I know, sweet pie, come here. Oh, I'm sorry, baby, I'm sorry. Come here, come on, mom's lap. Come on, mom's lap, baby. I love you, baby. I love you. So I need you, I need you to move, honey. Baby, I need you to move, sweet pie. Baby, I need you to move, baby. Can I, can I move you down here more? I know, sweet pie. Oh, there's my baby's belly. Come here, baby. Come here. Hey, don't bite me. Don't bite the mom. -um. You love the mom. -um. Don't bite mom. -um. I'm just trying to. He <laughs> does not want to move. Okay, how about you stay right there? Somebody might not want to move. Well, somebody, you know. Cry, <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> He's like, no, bitch, I am famous. I am bougie now. Every, the world needs to see me. I know that's right, baby. Yes, you are. You are a star, my darling. You are a star, too, Collective. <laughs> Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, angels, the ancestors, and mothers have passed away. What does the Collective need to know? He has a smile on his face. It's so funny. You know what you're doing, Collective. I mean, I mean um, uh, Clyde, you know what you're doing, my head. He's in there smiling. <laughs> Clyde, you're such a butthead. You know exactly what you're doing, butthead. He's like, bitch, you're gonna let me get my fame. <laughs> what are you doing, cutie pie? Game. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say they wanted some merit making. They're scared to death. They're in some sort of, um, because they have some sort of a uh, phobia. They're in depression. Um, paranoid is a mofo. Alright, so now they want some sort of merit making, okay? Um, because I feel like somebody could be, literally, maybe they can't even move, bro. They know it's for coming against you. Um, okay, they might. We have gain here at the bottom of the deck. Cultivate profit conclusion. They're going to come up with some sort of conclusion. They know they have to compromise with you. They know they do. I'm trying to get in from this. It's a um, conclusion part. See, it says we're here conclusion. I feel like that's what they're doing. They want to kind of marry me because they don't want to live like this no more. They're scared to death. They know you're too powerful. They know that you know they should have never did. You know what they did to you. It was very much so unwarranted. Um, yeah. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Loved Ones have passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please make you. I have Crown Chakra fre uh, frequency on in the background. Crown Chakra is located on the top of your head. Some people see it as like a purple, purplish color, or like a deep pur purple bluish, or um, some people look at like a like a more pinkish purple, or sometimes even people resonate with it as like a golden. But it's at the top of your head. It's the lotus, coach. You could be a moral coach, or they could be even going to like therapy, possibly. Um, I don't know. Maybe you're helping them. Maybe you're coaching them to start changing their ways. I'm strongly getting that. I don't know what you're doing. Like, I don't know if you've just been talking to these people or if you have, you know, I feel like you have these people cut off though. So, um, I feel like it's either, you know, if you have been in contact with these people, uh, and if it's somebody else smiling in your face, stabbing you in the back, like present, you know, time, um, maybe you've been getting into their head, like, you know, they're, you're coaching them to do the right thing, to be a more more of a moral person instead of, you know, what they've been doing, okay? And they know that it's from, you know, their actions they've been taking. Or if you have a platform or if you have YouTube, I mean, if you have a platform or if you have, like, Facebook, you know, whatever, social media, and you're speaking and you could be a coach yourself of some sort. You could be a life coach. You could be a spiritual coach. You could be, you know, any kind of coach. Um, you know what I mean? Maybe they're starting to actually take notes from you and... You know, they want to change their ways, which is absolutely beautiful, and I commend this person for it, if they're doing it for the right reasons. I actually commend this person, and I'm proud of this person, whoever this is. Um, 
you know, anybody can change. It's just the whether they want to or not. And, you know, somebody you're helping, you're putting these people's lives to help them, you know, find the light. You were the light in their dark, in their darkness, okay? They were in the dark. You were helping um, bring these people to the light. So that's absolutely amazing. The more people that you do help bring to the light, um, just shows how powerful you truly really are. That's amazing, Clark. You're doing an amazing job. Keep going. I know, baby. I'm so sorry, but we got it. You know, if you want the bougie life, honey, we gotta work. We gotta work, baby. We gotta work. You want the bougie like you? <laughs> He's all smiling. He's so cutie pie, my baby pie. <laughs> He's like, bitch, you. <laughs> it's not funny. I know. I know, baby, I know. You big boy, I love you. Blind. Oh, shit, maybe they, um... They feel awkward, though. They're afraid of the unknown. They could have lost their... They could have vision problems, possibly. It's like, if it's a health problem, you know, if, they're, if they are in the hospital, if they have health problems, they could definitely very much so have vision problems. This could even be their third eye is blind now, okay, for attacking you. Maybe they lost their gifts. I don't know. But I feel like they're very, they feel very awkward though. They don't know how to do this. They're not used to it. It's because they're used to being in the dark. They're trying to come into the light. You see what I'm saying? So they're afraid of the light. You know, some people are afraid of the dark. They're afraid of the light. Um, you know, especially for being in the darkness for so long. Imagine just being like underground for so long. Um, you know, with no light, no natural light, right? You're a natural light collective. Let me see. Clyde just knocked these two over. Hold on a second. Let me see you. I feel like he knocked these over for a reason, so I'm going to read these to you um, after I'm done explaining this. So, like, yeah, imagine if you're underground, like, if you're just in a dungeon for years, okay, however old these people are. And, you know, one day you came out of captivity and you went into, you know, you come out of, like, you know, the dungeon or the darkness. And imagine, like, the, like opening your eyes, like, it would be hard to see. They would have vision problems without a doubt. You see what I'm saying? But, um, I don't know if it's that actual, like, like serious, like, it's like that, or, but you know what the, the analogy I'm trying to give here. Okay, and, um, Clyde just knocked these two over and says, power of prayer, give this situation to God for uplifting and healing, and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love, and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives you, um, gives to you in response to your prayers. Somebody's praying. Somebody's praying. They're actually praying to God. Give it to God. Whoever this is that's trying to change your life around, give it to God. He will get you out. This is him telling you, like, just change your ways. He will be there for you as long as you repent and stop doing these evil things that you've been doing. He hears your prayers. He's waiting for you to start making the, um, the, the actionable steps to get up out of that darkness. But you have to stop doing whatever this is. And I'm, I'm, I'm extremely proud of whoever this is. Okay, raise or promotion. I feel like this is for you, Collective. Congratulations and an increase. It, it is definitely for you, Collective. Congratulations and an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. Actually, I feel like this is for you, Collective, and it's also for the... um. This person, if they stop their evil ways, they're going to get a raise promotion. They're going to get, you know, they have blessings waiting for them. Okay? They just need to come out of that darkness. Yes, it can be scary. Just like, you know, people that are afraid of the dark, going into the darkness. Okay? And coming from the darkness to the light could be scary. But it's, it's, it's something that you don't need to fear. They're just not used to it. And, but God's letting you know to whoever that is, he has blessings for you. Maybe they're, I'm also getting, because I was looking at this, this yellow and this orange was sticking out to me. So I was getting like, you know, solar plexus and, and sacral chakra. Maybe they have no creativity. Maybe their creativity is blocked. Okay. And maybe they, they can't, they are not getting abundance. All right. They're not able to create anything. They're not able to create, um, any finances. So maybe they're also scared too. Okay. They don't know what to do. They could be cast it away right now. They could be where they wanted you to be, or maybe that you were at one point. And now God's letting them know, like, you know, your abundance will start flowing again. If you come out of the darkness and stop doing these evil things and leave the collective alone and make it right, just make it right. Just do it. Be like Nike and just do it. And collective, 
because you're helping people come from the darkness to the light and you keep taking the right actions god has major blessings you're going to raise your promotion okay beautiful love it thank you clyde baby for that that down that um message right there buddy i love my baby he's so cute <laughs> Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and loved ones that passed away, what does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Peace and thank you. There may, if somebody's pissed about this, offense, madness, unpleasantness, they, or maybe they're living in complete, you know, um, madness right now, they want to come out of it, and I'm strongly getting that somebody else is pissed off because you're helping this person or these people come out of the darkness. They want them to take this. these other people that work that are working with this person or these people that are trying to come out of the darkness, want to bring them straight to hell with them, and they're mad, okay? Now I see the flame, see the red, is making me think of hell. They're burning up. Because maybe it's two people that's burning up because one person wants to go astray. Or one person's mad because two people are going astray. I don't know what the rules were different. But they're hella mad because they want to drag them down to hell with them. They're like, what the fuck, man? Like, do you just want to be like in hell with us? Oh, no, fuck you. Like, I repeat that in the name of Jesus. They're like, what do you mean you want to start doing the right thing? You don't like the darkness? You don't like the darkness? Like, what the fuck? Make that shit make sense, you idiot. Somebody's pissed off that somebody's changing their ways. And it's just because they they know they're where they're going. They're they they like the darkness. They know where they're going. They think it's too far it's too late for them. Um and they just want to drive this person or these people down to hell with them. And they can't. This person's gonna do the right thing, or they already are. I'm also getting that the person that's changing their ways, they're scared to death. They know that they're going to go to hell if they don't change their ways. And, you know, and this is God, whoever this message is for, this is God letting them know, do the right thing and you won't be, you. that won't be your destination. But you need to stop and you need to stop now and you need to change your ways now. You need to make right with whatever you've done wrong. And stop from the darkness. Stop doing this evil shit. Because if you keep doing this evil shit, this dark shit, this is what you're going to live. And this is where your destination is going to be. Straight to hell. Or do you want to do the right thing, Do you know, and, and make this merry making and be in the light. And get major blessings coming your way. And use your story, your test as a testimony, your, what you've been through, as a testimony that's going to help a lot of other people coming from the darkness into the light as well. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Live a life of hell and then go straight to hell. Or, you know, and the probably really bad part of hell. Or do the right thing. Come into the lightness. Get blessings and help other people. Like, you know what I mean? Because your, your story in itself, going from the dark to the light, is a huge testimony all in itself. And I feel like your life was destined to be that way. That's what you signed up for when you came here. Um, possibly. And they're mad because they're, and I feel like this person might even be somebody that was like one of their like, they didn't really give a F, you know what I mean? Um, until like maybe now, maybe they're on like, maybe they're, maybe they can't get out of bed or something, I don't know. They're finally waking up, you see what I'm saying? Like, they don't want, they want them to be asleep, like, <laughs> God, I love you, baby. <laughs> also, they say when cats... <laughs> No confirmation. They say when ca when cats sleep, they're transmuting negative energy. So maybe that's what they're doing. Okay, they're trans maybe like with Clyde sleeping here and how he doesn't want to move. There could be a very good reason for that. Because normally when I start, if he's laying here, y'all know. If anybody's been on my channel for a while, as soon as I start shuffling, he comes up and usually goes on, on my lap or like you know, or hides underneath my 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 robe or my dress, or he goes up on the bed. But he's not moving, so I feel like he could possibly be transmuting um, negative energy. There's my baby. Yeah, show that belly. Show that handsome man. Stretch that out. Yes, you are so handsome and precious. Show them. Show the fans your sexy belly, baby. So he's so Clyde's letting you know that he trusts you. Okay, because he's showing a belly whenever cats show their bellies. Because I knew that you're a trustworthy person, okay? See what I'm saying? See how Clyde likes to come in and help? <laughs> so cute, 
one. <laughs> he helps deliver the message. And I feel like, but he's a little bit on the, on the side a little bit still, but he's so showing his belly. I feel like this person's not fully trustworthy, okay? But they're getting there because he's not fully on his back. He, he's, pretty, he's pretty much there. But, you know, he's still a little bit on his side. So he's getting the energy to to come more full belly showing you see what i'm saying they'd be fully trustworthy so you're still being told to keep your guard up around this person but they are getting to that point of being trustworthy okay idea vision suggestion inspiration you're inspiring this person you're inspiring this person okay they're taking your suggestions this is beautiful they want to come into the light They're watching you online, I feel, and they're getting inspired by you. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. And I feel like they're secretly rooting for you. Because if you look in this light in this light bulb, I never seen this before, never noticed it. Like I know it's just that the way the light works, but like I'm seeing it as a fist, like, yeah, go ahead, go. Like like cheering for you. In the, you know what I mean? They're like secretly like rooting for you. Because like you said something that 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 I don't know, you said something that really hit home to them, and it, like, didn't, like, it didn't that light, it turned that light on, like, oh, shit, yeah, all right, I gotta change my ways, I realized I was wrong, you know what I mean, I did you dirty, you did not deserve the way I treated you, and they're really, you know, missing, missing you, and missing, you know, and, like, reminiscing on how good things were when you were around, whether this is a friend, family, an ex, or whoever this is, okay, now, if this is an ex, I do not suggest anybody gets back with this person, that's very important. Let me make this abundantly clear, just in case your little bitch ass ex is watching this and then goes, Oh, let me get an idea. Let me just, you know, Missy just said this, so let me just go and pretend like no. Use your discernment, okay? If it's an ex, keep your keep your boundaries up, okay? I don't trust any of your exes. Okay? Um, I don't feel like this is an ex. I feel like this is somebody else. It could be a, like um a friend or a family member or someone you consider to be family. It could be a Leo. I see a Leo right here. I was strongly getting Leo vibes right from the gate. Um, but, like, if you... Clyde's paws in a way, but... On this, the, the kitty cat tarot deck. And that's funny because his paws pointing right to it. I feel like it's a Leo. Or they're getting the strength of Because Leo is also the strength card in tarot. So, he's literally pointing right to this Leo um, on that the tarot kitty card. I mean, kitty deck. Which I got for my Clyde baby. Or it could be any of these signs, because he could just be, see this Leo over here. It could be a Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or a Scorpio. But I feel like it's still either a Leo, because he was literally pointing right to this. Um, or, if it's not a Leo, then it um, it's somebody that's getting their strength together, okay? To, to do the right thing. They want heaven, and also, this deck was on top. They want to have heaven on earth. Instead of hell on earth, okay? It says heaven and earth, but I'm just saying heaven on earth. They want so it's going to be Jack. And that would make sense too, because remember that for a while, for the longest time, there was that, that Leo. Every time I got that freaking car, I just wanted to throw it for a while. But then, like, then they, they fell out of your energy for a while, and I didn't really feel them. And then they started creeping back in here and there. And then, but it wasn't as bad. And then every once in a while, it would get really nasty. And, but I haven't felt that Leo lately. So maybe they changed their ways. They're having a um, change of thought, maybe. And, the, and I feel like that, that it could be a person, if it is that person, if somebody had a lot of love for and, you know, you knew what they were doing, but you felt bad and you had a lot of love for this person. And I feel like it was, I feel like it was like a friend that you consider to be family. You could have gave them that, um, that badge of honor. Okay. Uh, but they didn't take it as a badge of honor. Um, cause they're used to the darkness. They're used to the dark people. Okay. They're not used to your light, your authenticity, your love. Or your purity, um, but you like maybe that's why you you allowed a lot of things to slide with that person. It doesn't have to be a Leo, but I'm strongly picking up on that. Um, and maybe they're just—I feel like they're really self-evaluating, and I feel like their life is just going to hell right now. They're really paranoid. They're scared. They're they something's been like really eating at them that they've been wanting to tell you. They've been wanting to. The fuck was that? 
they could hear noises and shit. Y'all know if y'all heard that. That just made a thump out of nowhere. Be like, maybe your ancestors are really giving it to them strong. Alright, um, yeah. You might so you might end up being friends with this person again. I don't know. There's so much trust. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell, right? It depends on if they do the right thing or not, but they have to come correct. And one night, because you'll be able to spot it from a mile away. All you got to do is pray on it. You'll get the answer immediately. Um, or just, you know, make sure, guys, every day, ask God to show you who you can trust and just watch the mask come flying off. It seriously does work, all right? Just and mean it when you say it, but be prepared because... Um, some of the some of the people you're gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be devastating, okay? Uh, but you know, wouldn't you rather know um, than than not know? This is a beautiful reading, though. I love it. Eternal love. It could be a soulmate of yours. Now, soulmates come in all forms: friends, family, animals. Okay, my baby is a soulmate. This is my little my little soul food baby. Okay, it could be a friends, family, loved ones, and like you know, and they come in all forms. Yeah. Something here about consistency. They need to be consistent with their, you know, with themselves. They need to not, they need to, they, one red flag, you need to keep it moving. You need to cut it off, okay? You got it. You have to put your foot, your foot down, okay? If this person does come back into your life in any way, shape, or form, you have to make sure first red flag, it's got to go. Because they're not learning, okay? So keep your boundaries up. Be prepared. You know, they're getting there. They're not fully there, but they're getting there, okay? And again, it could be any sign, okay? But I strongly feel like it could be a Leo. Or you could be the Leo. That is, you know what I mean? Put the rolls right fit. Clyde, you're just so handsome, baby. I don't know if y'all can tell how how big Clyde really is. He's like the size of like a small puppy. <laughs> He's so cute, you buy. <laughs> oh, baby. You're so handsome. You're so handsome, Bubby. Yeah, they want to withdraw. They don't want to do this anymore. They want to quit. It's over. They're having an awakening, okay? Because you rejected them. They don't want, you know what I mean? They don't want you to reject them anymore. They want to quit. They want to stop. Maybe they were really attacking you um, after you rejected them and you cut them off. But if they had, they, and they're starting to realize you have every right to cut them off. Because, like, honestly, to all the karmics out there, Y'all know what the fuck you've been doing to the to the collective. Now, just because you think that they don't know or you think or whatever, no, they cut you off because they know what you've been doing. They just been letting y'all slide because they were asleep or you know they weren't fully awake yet. But now think about this, Cormix. Everything that you've been doing to the collective, really think about this and really be honest with yourself. Would you allow would you allow that to be done to you? Would you still stick around? No, you wouldn't. Because you're attacking an innocent person that did nothing but love you. So you really think that you're going to be around while somebody was doing what you're doing to them? When, you, when they did nothing but show you love, support, was a ride or die for you, and you did everything that you could to literally unalive this person? Would you allow that to happen? And if you say yes, you're a fucking liar. Knock it off. Some about a van, somebody could have a van. Somebody could be mad because they're rejecting them now. Maybe this like group cold cup and secret cider or whatever the hell this is. <laughs> you're so cutie pie, man. I just love you, Clyde. You're so cute. Look at you. <laughs> All sprawled out like a cutie patootie with cute little booties. They want to apologize to you. They feel guilty. Remorse. They're going to confess to you, but they need to confess the one million percent truth and clarity. Because one little white, one little, one little lie 
This is, and God is testing them too. One little fucking lie. And even if it's a white lie, it's over. The deal is off the table. Confirmation. I don't know if y'all heard that little confirmation over there. Sorry, baby. I feel so bad. This is their idea, is to come confess. They might confess to you online, or they might send a friend in. And remember, it did say friend, so I feel like it is a friend. Someone that you consider to be family. Or it could just be a friend. Sorry, baby boy. Alliance. They remember you as their loyal dog. The ride or die. Okay? They want to align with you. Because you're getting blessings. And if they do this, if they align with you, and, you know, come forward with the truth and clarity, God will gift them with blessings, too. You're about to get some sort of enlightenment, all right? It's a full, they want some sort of fulfillment, all right? They know you're getting fulfillment. You know, you know you're getting blessings. They know, obviously, you're doing something right, okay? And they're not, if they're, while wow, they're doing all that crazy shit, right? So they're going to come in with some sort of enlightenment and tell you the truth. But they need to tell you, um... The full truth and nothing but the truth because they want some sort of well-being because they're not doing well they'll have this full health back and well-being if they come correct they want to come in and align with you now and it could be a third party situation they might like again they might send a third party in to align with you to apologize somebody could have a dog and now maybe this this third party situation also that the other people could be pissed off because they're they're choosing to align with you and switch sides because it's the smart thing to do because they should have never cost you in the first place. They are seeing that this alliance with these with the people that they weren't aligned with that they came up against you with are living in fear, fright, you know, phobias. They're they're living in hell on earth before they go straight down to hell. So now they want to align with you. And they might be sending in a third party to do this. <laughs> I'm so sorry, baby boy. I know, honey. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. Mood I feed you. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> You're so cute, bye. I'm also getting the way looking at Clyde, the way he is, the way he's laying here, and the way he has his tail. It reminds me of the Hangman. Um, in which cult, which deck is that? Oh, in my Eagle Allen Poe deck, it literally looks just like Clyde, and the way his tail is everything. And I feel like they're stuck and stagnant. They could be caught. There's my baby. Oh, my baby. And they're see how he's starting to roll over. Like they're rolling over. Okay. Um, this deck right here, the Hangman card. It looks just like my Clyde baby right there. See how his tail was and everything? It reminds me of Clyde, okay? I mean, the, the way Clyde was laying just a second ago, it reminds me of the hangman. Maybe because they're stuck and stagnant. They're caught. They're caught up for what they've done. And they're stuck. They want to come out of the suckness. They don't want to be in this darkness no more. You could have even tried to, okay, maybe this is why you cut the person off. You could have tried to help them out and deliver the message. And they, um, yeah, look, three of the three of cups, you're going to have reason to celebrate. Because you're getting some sort of truth and clarity here. Um... Sorry, baby. There could be sacrifice in the hangman. Could also talk about sacrifice. They could be sacrificing this this third this this alliance that they had with them people and coming forward with you. You realize the grass wasn't wasn't greener on the other side. It was fake as fuck. Yeah. You know, um, maybe they, they want to get their, you're helping them get their self-esteem up, okay? And maybe they're, you know, God's also letting this person know that they're very proud of them. They need to lose that ego and get out of that fucking ego and come forward, okay? And possibly has a crown waiting for this person if this person does the right thing. But you need, you need to get out of that ego, come forward with the truth and clarity, the one million percent truth and clarity, and, you know, um, I think you're going to be extremely proud of this person as well. I feel like this person, like I said, behind the scenes, they're, they're silently rooting for you. They're watching you, and they're, they're, they're proud of you, okay? 
and how far you've come, knowing how much they have done to you and what this whole group of people have been doing to you. Yeah, they're, they're scheduling a reverse. Thank you, thank you. Profession, liberation. They're praying, okay? They're praying that whatever they sent to your work, whatever you're doing, your talents, maybe, I don't know. They're praying that they've been liberated from it. Maybe, okay, so whatever they did to you, they're scared to death. It's coming back to them. They're creating, they're, they're attacking what I said, your sacral chakra and your solar plexus chakra, right? They're trying to attack that, okay? They might even schedule, like, they might be, you know, asking you to come out to eat. I would not go out to eat with this person. Absolutely not. Do not eat anything from this person or anybody from your past. Do not, I don't care if you're going out to a diner, they might know the person that works there. Do not do that, okay? Um, but maybe they're worried, okay, that you're not going, maybe they're going to try to reach out to you or at your workplace, or maybe they did and you did, you didn't, you know what I mean? You didn't, uh, you didn't reach back or you just, I don't know. But, uh, I'm also getting, they scheduled, whatever they scheduled out for you is in the reverse. It's coming back and they're scared to death because they know what they sent out to you and to your work. Okay. They're attacking your, your creativity, your fertility, your work, your, your abundance, your prosperity. Um, and they're losing everything because it's coming back. And now they're thinking, all right, well, if I go make this right, then, you know, will it stop what, you know, what was, what's destined to come back to them if they don't make it right? God's telling them with that, you know, with those prayer cards that, that, um, Clyde knocked down. Yeah. If you make this right, Things will be right for you. You have you'll have a job, a promotion, or whatever this is. You know, blessings are waiting for you, but you need to do it, and you need to do it now. You can't be pussyfooting around. <laughs> Speaking of pussyfooting, I'm getting that those these are all like grown up, like they could be clenching their feet, like oh, <laughs> like oh man, oh man. <laughs> They're praying to get liberated. Okay. Um, And it says right here, talent. Yeah, there's something about your, your sacral chakra and the orange here. They may be trying to turn around what they, uh, they turn, turn, turn around what they sent out, like the reverse what they sent. And they know the only way they can do that is by making it right. They might even try to donate to you. I don't know. Says donations, or maybe they need donations. I don't know. This could be a religious group or something, or you could be like, you know, I don't know. You could be very religious or very spiritual. Okay. And they're scared to death. Yeah, because see, this goes underneath freight. The this is underneath. Um, yeah, I told you what I say. Yeah, I I know what the fuck I'm talking about, dude. All right. Baby, I need you to move. I'm so sorry, sweetie pie. I know, baby. I know, bubby. I know. Just roll this way for my mom. I know, baby. I'm so sorry, sweetie pie. <laughs> baby. I know. Yeah. I'm so sorry, my sweet sweetie. I just love my baby so much. <laughs> yeah, see how the schedule? They're scared to death because what they went out to you, they're watching you online. They're seeing it's not affecting you. They see it's doing the opposite effect. They know that it's coming back to them. They're scared to death. All right. And like I said, the sacral and the solar plexus, they were attacking. So they might reach out to you through your workplace, whatever you do for work. All right. You could be a cook. All right. Someone's last name can be cook possibly. Okay. Somebody can be in the col culinary arts. Okay. Someone's name could be Colin. Um, and now this alliance, this third wheel enemies, are right, these other people that were aligned with, were, were, there were align, aligning with, or hella pissed, because they're trying to drag this person down, or these people down with them, and it's not gonna happen. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. This person's changing their ways, yeah, and they're remembering how much of a loyal dog you've always been to them, and you see those three hearts is giving me, okay, the three of cups, you're gonna have a reason to celebrate, just like the three of cups in the three of ravens, which is the three of cups in the other deck that I showed you with the hangman, all right? Now, I forget how many, how many hands are in this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There could be 15 people that had the, in this alliance that were coming up against you and one child, or that could be their hand that's small because they're not really doing anything anymore. They're trying to get their hands out of this. 
they want to come align with you because they know you're a loyal dog. You've always been their loyal friend and they're tired of you having their back to them. See how the dog's not looking at them. They want to come love up on you, not meaning like in a sexual way or anything like that. I mean like they want your love back. Because they know that you're the only one, you know, they're panting. Like look, look at the dog panting. They're dehydrated. They're thirsty. <laughs> You're my baby. I just love you so much. <laughs> How precious you are, Clyde. Right? Like, you know, like I just said, that Clyde's so precious. He's a precious baby. They, they, they you know, they, they, they look at you as a very precious divine being because you are. And they're, like I said, they're attacking your finances and your work. They're watching you, whatever you're doing for work, and they've seen that it's been liberated and they're scared to fucking death about this. And now they're trying, okay? And also, if you see, like, there's three hands here, okay? There could be three people in this, in this shit. They're, um, they're, they're, they, I feel like they were coached to do this. See, there's, like, somebody was pouring this into it, okay? Maybe this was somebody put something in your food or your drinks. Maybe they're going to tell you about this. But it's, like, it's forced. You see what I'm saying? Like, why does it take two other people's hands or one, one other person that's, you know what I mean, that's making them to pour that in there? But almost, I know in the upright, it means like the power of three. It's like the power of three. You know what I mean? The, the you know, but, um, it's like, I mean, like the whole, the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? Use this word. Um, I feel like you've smoke cleansed something around, away. The Holy Trinity. All right. The, um, but you see this looks like, like smoke, all right? You could have cleansed this away. Or you could have bathed it away. Maybe you got a salt bath. Maybe you got a, a spiritual bath and you bathed this, you know, you've been liberated from it. Alright? Somebody might even get in, be getting baptized or getting holy water. Is there Florida water? Somebody could be from, from Florida. They want you... I'm also getting... They want you to teach them how to cleanse away negative energy, okay? With that coach card, too, it makes a lot of sense. And they want you to coach them how to do this, how to get, make it right. And if you look, it looks like he has his thumb on, their, on this person's pulse. Maybe um, this is something, like I said, they're in bad health. Maybe it's going to take them. You know, they know they can't do this without you. They need you. Because they're the one that sent it out to you. And I'm sure getting somebody poisoned you in the past or drugged you in the past. That you were cleansed from. Let's not forget to give God, Jesus, angels, ancestors, loved ones that passed away, the utmost love, respect, and gratitude for and appreciation for all that you do in our lives. Holy Spirit, divine spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones that passed away. Okay, they could have did this on like the quarter, the new moon, and or something like that, the full moon or the new moon, something like that, and they're worried or vice versa. And it's coming back now. Or could it came back to them at the full moon? I don't know if you're going to know something like that. So I'm looking at this. Looks like, you know what I mean? Baby, I love you. Accident. They got caught up for some sort of accident, possibly, or they feel in danger. They're in caution that they, maybe somebody did get an accident, okay? I don't freaking know. Uh, you know, um, there's a lot of red right here, double red right here. They could have been attacking your root chakra. Now they're stressed out. This third wheel enemy, maybe this third wheel enemy got into an accident, or they know that they know they're pissed off because they know they're in danger. Because now maybe this person is somebody that was like really. Um, somebody that was, they needed to do this, this, this rituals and stuff like that, that knew the spiritual insight, and this person wants to get some sort of merit making with you, okay? Now, they're stressed the fuck out, because they're seeing that you're still getting blessings, alright? And you're about to get some sort of the words of encouragement, and enlightenment, and fulfillment, and they know what that means, because they're attacking your finances and your, your blessings, and they don't want you to have nothing. They're seeing red now. Look how, look at all this red. So something could have really bad happened, okay? They're trying to align with you to get some sort of um, blessings, all right? They're, somebody's wearing a mask, they're scared to death, but they're pretending like they're not. They might come in wearing a mask. Like, or if you, you know, because if you have them blocked, they might be wearing, like, hiding behind a fake account and, and, uh, what do you call it? They hit you up and then, then, like, I don't know, somehow reach out to you, like, that way. And, like, this alliance, though... There could have been accidents happening, they're just getting caught up for it, I don't freaking know, um, but, 
they're pretending like they're everything is Gucci, but it's not. They're scared to death. They're they're scared to death. They're scared of their own shadow at this point. You know, they love that darkness so much, but yet now they're scared of the, the darkness that they that, that they love so much. Something about black mold is significant. I know, baby. I'm so sorry. I love you, baby. You're so cute. Bye. I know. Oh, I just like you see how it's like did it Clyde's tail. Um, somebody might be tailing them, or maybe they got into an accident. I don't know. Or they could be tailing you. I don't know. Let's show you what happened. Yeah, they're bound to this now. They bound. They're bound to whatever they sent out to you. There could be some sort of contract that's, you know, maybe they feel like they, they're bound to whatever this is. Maybe they're contracted to something dark. Or they could have contracted an STD or a disease. They could be just doing some sort of binding magic on you as well. They could have some sort of obstruction charges. Obstruction. Baby boy. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, an accident could have happened, like somebody could have got stabbed with a knife or something, or got hit by a car, or something. Or maybe, okay, if they poisoned you in the past, drugged you in the past, you know, they could have tried to sacrifice, like that's how they tried to sacrifice you or something like that. That could have happened to them, okay, as well. It's going to happen, okay, because what goes around comes around. What you put out is what's going to be worse, because they don't have the protection you have, alright? Oh, the way I just looked up like that, maybe somebody poured a, a banger out on them and pew, 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 out on them. Alright, somebody could have got pew, pew, I don't know. Or maybe they're afraid to get pew, pew, I don't know. Or maybe they're bound to the hospital bed or like they don't even know how to reach out to you. Like, they can't get into your energy and the light's been shined on them. See that light that's around them? It's been shined on them. And all their shady business they've been in. Somebody has some sort of virus or something. We have idea again. The coach. There's a coach with the idea. Okay. Advice, obligation, um, uh, obedience, sorry. Advice, obedience, and knowledge. They're watching you at work, whatever you do. Um, and they're, ta they're taking your advice and you're, you know, you're giving out a lot of knowledge. A lot of, a lot of knowledge is helping a lot of people, not just this person or this, these people. You're helping a lot of people, okay? You're doing an amazing job, Collective. Keep going. So they want to be obedient. They're, they're hiding. I feel like you have, um, I feel like you work online, okay? I feel like you have a platform. Or if it's social, if it's just social, I mean, you could still be working through social media because, like, TikTok, I know that pays you. Um, but I feel like, I feel like you, I feel like you have a platform where they want to hide, they're hiding their face. Like how Clyde just hit his face, I don't know if y'all can see, hide, hit his face underneath my dress. They're hiding their face, okay? They're, they're hiding, they're hiding behind a fake account, watching you. They're being obedient, okay? They're taking your advice. They're taking your advice. They are being obedient. They're starting to change, Okay. And now they're coming up, they're watching online. They're watching online. See how he's sitting here online. And you're inspiring the fuck out of this person. Okay? They're taking your suggestions. And they're seeing your vision. They could have even had a vision. They could have had a dream. And or maybe, you know, they had a a a, a, a um encounter with an angel or something, okay? You, first of all, was an encounter with an angel because you are an earth angel, my darling. Okay, and they seen maybe they saw the pre uh, future prediction, or they saw um, maybe they had a dream or something, and your spirit team or you came to them in a dream and told them, Look, if you want to make this right, you got to come correct. Okay, something like that. You're doing an amazing job, collective. I don't realize, I don't think you realize how many people you're actually helping around the world and i'm strongly getting it you have a you have a platform that's helping a lot of people whether it's a platform social media whatever it is but i feel like you do 
all right and if you're not you need to start one because that's what you're waiting for you you're, you're just getting in your own way baby boy <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> somebody's trying to shit on your plan <laughs> yes his butt all over the cards you know they got two feet deep in so far, okay? Well, one and a half, because this one's all the way in. This one's up a little bit. They're trying to get both feet in, all right? They're hiding their face. They're watching you behind fake accounts. But it started off to, like, harass you, to bully you, to, you know, to be a dick to you. But now they got one foot in, one foot almost in. And, you know what I mean? They're taking your advice. They are changing. So I feel like this person's definitely going to change. I feel like they are. They're going to do the right thing. Because God's going to whoop their ass until they do. You know, karma's gonna come through and spank to every, you know, it's gonna take everything from them until I do. Some about the straight, some about a line crossing a line, possibly. Maybe they know they crossed the line with you. They're, they're, you know what I mean? Something like that's happening. Some about, because his tail's pretty damn straight right now. <laughs> There's a, th you need to, Some about the tip. Because see how it's, and it's only where it's black right here. You know, some about the tip. They're going to give you a tip, okay? Someone's going to tip you off with something. And they knew that they crossed the line with you. They're taking your tips, okay, that you're giving, your advice. And I feel like somebody's about to tip you off, or they're going to tip somebody off without what's going on here. Somebody's dog's name or animal's name could be Tip or Tipper, Tippy. That was my pit bull, one of my pit bulls' names. Confirmation. And it just said, yeah, I just got a thing, um, a notification, right? That's what that noise was. And what did I just say? Hold up. That was very, um, significant. Where'd that go? Okay. Once it's activated, damn it, I don't want to click on it because I don't want to. Hold on a second, click this. I feel like this is something very significant. Alright, it said, hold on, I'm clicking on it real quick. It says, once it's activated, you'll experience spiritual power. They know once they do this, they'll experience spiritual power. They need you. You are the key. You are the tip, you know what I mean? That's crazy, that's funny. They could be meditating. And got this during meditation. Maybe you inspired this person, okay, to meditate and to find their spirituality and to do to better their lives. And I feel like you did this, and they are. And they know once all they have to do is do this last, you know, well, not this last, there's a lot more to it, but they need to come in, you know, you're, 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 somebody's tipping somebody off here, okay? And, um, but it, yeah, it says right here, once it's activated, you'll experience spiritual powers, but they need to activate it. They need to make it right. They need to give the tips. They need to, you know, they need to make their wrong, right their wrongs. They need to come correct with 1 million percent truth and clarity and honesty and, and right what they have done wrong. And everything's going to be go back to the way it used to be, but better because they're going to have their spiritual powers. They're going to have, maybe they, again, with that, with that, um, that blind card, right? Remember I said, somebody could have lost their vision. Maybe they were a seer. They can't see no more. Their third eye could be closed. That could be why I had the third eye. The, the, the crown chakra, okay? Maybe their crown chakra's closed, all right? Um, and their third eye, I don't know. But, you know, um, yeah, I feel like it's their crown chakra or their third eye. Maybe both, all right? But um, anyway, you know, they, they know that it's because of what they are doing. They're abusing their gifts and powers to come for you. Or maybe they just were sleeping, like Clyde's sleeping right here. All right, and now you're helping them wake up and help them align and find their spirit and get into spirituality, get into their, you know, their purpose as well. And you know what I mean? They can do it. They're going to do it. Family. It could be your own damn family or someone you consider to be family. Somebody you had a bond with. You could have lived with this person. You have some sort of background with this person. I feel like it's someone you consider to be family. It could be family. They want that that bond back with you. They never had a bond like they, with you, with anybody like they had with you because you were the only true person and loyal and honest person and pure person in this person's life. They're used to the darkness. It just made, it just remind me. 
it just I just had a flashback from from when um somebody that I considered to be family, right? Which you know, um that I had a lot of love for. I had to cut him off because I you know, I knew what he was doing behind my back. And even though I didn't want to and it hurt, you know, um, but spirit told me no. And I gave a message to this person what I was guided to do and he made a mockery of it, made a mockery of Jesus, and that's when I fucking caught, you know, he knew across the line, I cut it off right then and there, and it was over with, right, and, you know what I mean, um, and, what was I gonna say, I forget where that was going to, where, where I was going with that, um, I forget where I was going with that, I got too sidetracked, ADHD gets best me sometimes, <laughs> I forget where I was going with that, so it could be somebody that you looked at, somebody that was a friend that you looked at as an uncle, okay? I don't know where I was going with that. I just had a little brain fart right there. <laughs> Maybe that was the download. Maybe that was what it was, okay? Maybe somebody you considered to be family. That you, somebody that was a friend, but they crossed the line with you, okay? Especially if they're mocking your, your religion or your spirituality or whatever this is. Especially if they're mocking God. If they mock Jesus, fuck you, got me fucked up. You know, I'll cut that shit off real quick, right? Hey, baby boy. I know, baby. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so yeah, th th so that person I was, that I was just talking about, you know, I always say thank you to people because, and I mean it when I say it, okay? I want to be saying things I don't fucking mean. Um, and he used to tell me all the time, like, you don't have to say thank you all the time. And like, well, yeah, I do because I am grateful for, you know, what, what, you're, what you're doing or whatever. And I'm grateful for you. And he's like, yeah, but it's just weird that you say thank you all the time. Like, it seems like you're being too nice. I'm like, dude, that's sad. That's seriously sad. I was like, that just shows that you're around a bunch of people like, that are snakes. You know what I mean? That if you're not used to it, like he's like not used to and he's uncomfortable with being people saying thank you. It's, a, it's what you're supposed to do. Just like people all the time look at me like I'm crazy because I hold the doors for men and women. Um, whether they're younger than me or especially if they're older than me. And when I'm at a store, I open the door. I, when I'm in the car with somebody, I will open the door for the other person. Even if I'm inside the car and I see them coming, I will open the door for them. It's just respect. And you know what I mean? It's respect and manners. Um, it's been installed in my head since I was a child. Since I was, since I was born, literally. And, you know... People talk shit about bikers all the time and, and and addicts, but that's who I grew up with. That's where I learned my manners from, where I learned my respect from. So maybe there's something like that. Somebody looked at you in a different way because of how you grew up and who, who your family was. Talking about the family card. Maybe they looked at you, you're guilty by association or by relation. You know, and because, oh, well, you know, maybe you grew up with a whole bunch of bikers, like I did. Maybe you grew up with a whole bunch of gangbangers, like I did. Maybe you grew up, like, in, like, you know, not such a great area, like I did. And they thought that you were like other people. And they're judging a book by its cover. And they didn't even take the time to open that book up and even read a sentence out of it. They just started projecting onto you. And they're realizing they should have never did that. Maybe you used to do drugs, so they thought that you were like a junkie, and you were never a junkie, you were a addict. When everybody's an addict, in, in some sense, coffee is, a, is an addiction, gambling is an addiction, the internet, your cell phone, is an is a addiction. Try to go a week without the damn phone, or the, with no electronics or internet. And if you can do that, with no phone, no TV, no electronics, you know, you can have your lights and stuff, but I mean, like, entertainment-wise, then you can talk shit about somebody, okay, because I guarantee you can't do that. You can, but you won't, let alone a, a drug or a substance that makes you physically withdraw and makes you sick, and is actually considered, it is a disease. But we were strong enough to be able to break that. Okay, and they can be strong enough to break whatever they're going through. Um, you know, anybody can. It's just the willpower and the dedication and the want to. Now they're overloaded. Okay, they could be very much so overwhelmed. They feel, you know, maybe they realize. Um, maybe they were doing these things because they, they felt obligated to do this, like maybe they're to this other, this group called Covenant Secret Society or this group of people, alright? 
they might feel now they're starting to really in, go inward and feel obligated to now right their wrongs maybe even come up with all this evidence that they're gonna they're piled up you know there's a bunch of evidence against these people maybe they're gonna come in with some sort of with a bunch of evidence for you they're really thinking about this like this is all their karma they've been stacking up as well this could be charges as well all right you know they realized they were do overdoing it it's an assessment right here they're like you know they they realized they were really overdoing what they were doing they had no right to do what they did to you they were purposely getting you overwhelmed purposely they got off on it they thought it was funny seeing you getting all mad and crazy and and all off balance but they can't get you like that no more and they see how much you really did change and they're starting to understand wow ever since collective cut all those karmic people off you got so much better you're completely balanced they can't get you off balance and they're like damn wow they're starting to realize they were the problem because what is the what is the, the all right what's the only thing that's different you stop these bad behaviors like whatever they were addictions or whatever it was and you cut the right people off sword face running out damn it not now okay i just hit not now and i said it out loud and i normally don't say that all right because i read it so maybe something is not right now okay um they, I don't know, maybe they have to heal a little bit more. They need to come forward with this, uh, this true authority, though. They're trying to see the sun, okay? Because on my crystal right here, I don't know if y'all can see it. You know, it's the planets, right? And the sun, where it says sun right in the middle, it, was, it could be even somebody's sun, I don't know. All right, where's that? I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Eh. The, the, where, you know, the sun was sticking out to me. Maybe if I show it to you with the light on it. Oh, shit. Someone's name could be Ted or Teddy. Okay, this is my teddy bear that my daughter got me for Mother's Day. It could be, it could definitely be a child possibly. I don't know. I don't know if y'all can see it with the sun. I mean, with the light on it. Where is that? I don't know, but y'all get the drift, okay? Y'all get the drift. Y'all get it. Y'all get it. Homeless, donate. It says again, failure, castaway, poor. They could literally be poor now. They feel like a failure, a castaway. Nobody wants them. They think. Or it's just because their mask has come off. They don't want to, that just felt like, I just had a, like, an overwhelming feeling of desperation, like, sadness. Somebody could wear fedoras. They might need, really need help right now with the donate, or they might try to donate to you to make it right, to balance out the scales. But they wanted you homeless, that's why they were attacking your finances. So if that's what they wanted for you, that's what's going to happen to them. Unless they right their wrongs. Italy can be significant. Somebody could be Italian. Okay. I don't know if I'm able to do the normal spread that I do, which, yes, I know it's different because I made it myself. It's my spread um, that I created the way that I was guided to do it, but anybody can do use it if you would like to. Um, but the way Clyde is, I just don't want to move my baby. Yeah, protests, okay? Inadequate sue attention has come to their attention that, you know, you might sue this person because there's a lot of evidence here. Or it's just come to their attention that they need to stop. They need to protest these losers that they were working with and come confirmation. They might have information about a lawsuit. Maybe somebody um, stole something from you and they're going to make it right. Someone's name could be um, a Mason or somebody could be a Mason or a Freemason. And they know with this protest, 
they know you're a pro because they've tested you many, many times. And you always, it's come to their attention, that you always, always, always pass the test and you're heavily protected. You see this blue, you know, people in higher vibration, they look at blue and they, they, they resonate blue with protection. Archangel Michael, right? People that are in lower vibration, they resonate blue with sadness, depression, anxiety feeling blue and down and out but you know when you're in a higher vibration you realign your thoughts to a higher perspective and you like you associate blue with happiness with, 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 with protection with healing with water you know what i mean they need to heal with divinity with the throat chakra okay blue is also the throat chakra they need to speak up speak up get on a bullhorn okay and start speaking up, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, what is this? We have nightmare. They're living in a nightmare. They're suffering in darkness. They could have entity attachment. They're scared. They were, but they used to love the darkness, but they're not, they don't like it no more. They're trying to put a white blanket over it because they don't want to be in the darkness no more. They're like, um, there's just a silent, uh, notification. Self, oh man, it said self alter. I think it said, I don't know what it said. So I think it said self um, altercation. It was a notification that came up on my phone. The fuck? I don't know if, it, if you guys hear that or not. Somebody could have been born in 75. Ow. Something about 75 could be significant. My foot's hurting. <laughs> I gotta realign my... My... The way I'm sitting. Baby boy. Can we, can we turn back over to space, sweetie pie? I know, honey. I know, puppy. I'm so sorry. Come over this way. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they're living a nightmare. Maybe they saw themselves in some sort of accident. Or maybe they got into an accident and... Now they're living in darkness. Maybe they're reliving that accident over and over again. Or maybe they got a future prediction. Or maybe they had a dream of what's going to happen to them. Maybe they had a dream of them going to hell. Alright guys, I told, I told you all before about that guy that's on YouTube. Dude, um, I have so much respect for him. I forget his name, damn it. Um, oh, what is his name? But he, it's, you can look up my hell testimony on YouTube. Check that out. You can see and hear the fear in this man's um, eyes and his voice. Um, his voice shakes like he's so scared. He was in jail and he had a he astro projected. Okay, he said he had a dream. It wasn't. It was astro projection. I don't know. I know what that is. You know, um, I can astro astro project myself. All right, and he astro projected to hell, and he changed his way. Maybe that's what happened here. Maybe he ash projected into hell and seen what's awaiting him if he doesn't, he or she, I keep saying him, so maybe it's a he, alright? But you see how, like, Clyde, you know, we keep flipping and flopping him? They're, they're, they're on the fence here, they keep flipping and flopping, like, which side they want to be on. For some reason, I have, like, I'm putting my hand here, right, on his feet, and I'm holding his feet like this. And I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, they want to be cuddled or they need help putting both feet, getting both feet on the ground, okay? Um, mm. <laughs> Clyde is old tail. He's his old fucking tail. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Honey bunny, why don't you just lay over here more so you're not laying on crystals here, baby? Same thing could be crystal. Imagination. Did somebody dream somebody had a dream of something or they, they astro projected, um, they either seen what's about to happen to them, um, or they went they astro projected to hell or something. I'm sure we're getting that. Looks at up, I'm telling you guys. Alright, we have variety, fantasy, and mind. They're having a variety of nightmares of them being in accidents, possibly, or their family being in accidents. Um, they keep dreaming about um, or actually projecting 
of going to hell and to places of maybe different parts of hell. Like, all right, well, maybe once they start doing something right, you know, then they'll have a, a another dream or something or actual projection to a new part of hell. Like, because there's levels to hell, just like there's levels to heaven. All right, and maybe they're at the very bottom, like the worst part possibly, or close to it. And when every they're noticing every time they do something right, they have a dream or astral projection to like a, a, a better part of hell. You know, not the that there's any good part of hell. You know what I mean? Something like that, or they're or when they do something bad, they get knocked down again, or something like that's happening. I feel like, or they're having then when they do something right, maybe they they won't have such a bad nightmare, or they'll have um. They won't have a nightmare or something. I don't know. Maybe they're having dreams of, of you, all right? Predictions of you in the future. Um, happy, abundant, prosperous, okay? And then it's, it's and then they're, they're having dreams of them being in hell. And, and you know, um, maybe, they, maybe they did have a dream. Or maybe you had a dream. You spoke about it on your platform or on social media. And... Or you had a prediction of some sort, and they fucking happened, and they're scared to death because they're now starting to remember everything else that you've been saying. Like, oh shit, collective really is tapped in. Collective really is psychic, and they're scared to death. Because I feel like to the T, you predicted something, and it happened to the fucking T, spot on. And like, okay, and going back to like the, the dreaming, okay, maybe they're having dreams of like nightmares of them, and then seeing then they'll have a dream. You know of great things that are happening for you and it's spirit's way of letting them know you were the right way you are the right path okay um now if they go line with you they can have that better life and i'm not saying in a relationship i highly recommend um anybody you cut off in a relationship wise you do not ever get back in that relationship please very important i feel like again this is a friend Baby, you so cute, pie. Blind. They have no more imagination. Their third eye is blind. Their crown shop was closed. Sealed. They're scared of the unknown. They feel very awkward because they realize how wrong they were. They 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 feel awkward that they were blind to see your, your light, your love, your abundance before. And they wish they could turn back time. Somebody literally could have had an accident. Maybe they actually lost their physical eyesight. Okay, that could have happened too, especially if there's somebody that was overdoing it, stalking you and um, stuff like that. Yeah, that could definitely be an eyesight. They could literally, that could be their hormone, is they lose their vision completely. Not just spiritually, which is, I fuck that, that's crazy, you know what I mean? Um, but let alone, like, actually could be walking around with a fucking, you know, maybe they can't see no more. Maybe because of an accident. Or if they're trying to get, um, make you not be able to see, they're trying to blind you, they're going to go blind. Whether it's spiritually, you know, or physically, or or both. M and M's monsters under my bed. Um, is that was called. I love that song. Is playing in my head right now. Somebody could be a rapper. Gift. All right, you're about to get some. Um. You're about to get a souvenir, a promotion, or a delight, some sort of gift. They might be trying to gift you something, okay? You know, this is a gift, a nightmare to them. I don't fucking know. You're extremely gifted, and they know that. And I feel like they might try to gift you. They could be donating to you or giving you some sort of gift to try to make a peace offering. I don't know. Or to balance the scales. They're crying. If you look at this, it's backwards. It's C-R-Y. It's Y-R-C. Why or see, but if you read it backwards, it says cry. They lost their gifts, I feel like. They might be trying to gift you to bounce things out. This is sad, guys. It really is. Oh, sorry, big boy. Robbery. They could have stole a gift from you. Or attempted to. Explosion, in caution, unfairness. They feel it's unfair about your how how gifted you are. They didn't see it. They were blind to it. Okay, maybe they got robbed of their gifts because they were trying to attack yours and attack you. 
Maybe somebody robs you of a, a gift, maybe an inheritance or something. They're going to come forward about it because it's eating them up alive. And they're stressed because they got robbed of their gifts. Yep. They got robbed of their gifts. Somebody got robbed of their gifts. And, okay, remember the rest of what I was saying. If they make this right, they will get their, they'll activate their, spirit, they'll, their spiritual powers again. They need to make it right. It's on hold till the outcome of what they do. Okay, if you want your gifts back, you need to make it right. As simple as that. How hard is that? Make it right. Right your wrongs. Protest, okay? And I'm also getting somebody's also, they're stressed out because you're going to sue somebody who robbed you for something physical. They could have physically robbed you for something as well. And if they wanted to rob you, yeah, God's going to rob them. And it could be, if I'm sure getting possibly inheritance or something, or they could have robbed you of your property. Or finances or something. They, with them attacking your finances, yeah, they did rob you in some sort of way. Because you lost out you, on, on finances. So they think that's what their intentions were. No, because if you once you get to a certain point, you realize um, how this works, okay? As long as you stay in your faith and you realize it's just an illusion, that you are heavily protected and you give all your trust and faith into God and know that he has your back, you're going to get back everything that you lost plus some, okay? And it's only an illusion. The more you trust in God and have faith in God, one million percent, the more he's going to have trust and faith in you. And he's going to bless you even more beyond measures. This is what this person needs to do. They need to just make it right. Maybe they're afraid that, you know, once you find out they were part of this, and I'm sure we're getting that, they're going to think that you'll never want to speak to them again. But hey, you're never going to speak to them again if they stay in this energy. So the best thing, you know, I would have respect for somebody that would actually man up or woman up and fess up to what they had done and actually would give them another chance if they were being honest. But the first second a red flag showed up, they're out the fucking door for good, permanently. Last chance. Everybody deserves another chance. But the second a white little lie shows up, a red flag in any shape or form, it's over. No no questions asked. There's not even going to be an explanation. Just straight ghost. Maybe somebody's seen ghosts and they're scared and they're, they're not, you know, they're not used to that, okay? Um, you know, for a lot of us, spirit, you know, a, a lot of us that are spiritual, um, even, you know, seeing ghosts, you know, since we we're children. So we're not afraid of that, but they are. 